Well, today is Friday, my second day on the job, and it was a bit, you know, wearing because I I came in the morning. I said, "Am I approved to drive?" Because turns out, when they give you the employee number and they say you hired, um, they were still waiting for the insurance to clear me because they have fleet insurance, right? Uh, you cannot just drive under your insurance. You need to be approved by the insurance company um, for the insurance. And so the boss submitted my driver's abstract Thursday morning. And he says, usually it takes 24 hours. So Friday morning, nothing. Fri so I went out with uh, the guy who was kind of like training me, right? We went out uh, a couple of times on a flat deck truck on the freight liner, then one was like, man, on a pickup truck, some... Uh... Yeah, sorry about that. There was a Uber. Uh, Uber, $4, dollars 2 kilometers. So I know that there's no tip, but it was taking me east, which was supposed to be busy later today. So I went there, delivered some grub to a guy from Volkswagen. And this time I asked him, I said, so no tip this time? The guy says, oh, sorry. I said, just, you know, they paid me $4 to bring you this food and I had to drive two kilometers. The guy didn't say anything, but I don't care because it's Uber and on with Uber, you have no ratings. There's no acceptance rate, basically. Uh, they cannot mark you down from what I understand because there's no ratings, right? They can they can uh, vote with a tip up or down, right? Like you're good, they give you a tip. But these cheap guys, you know. But anyway, so back to my story. And so we did a humongous load of scaffolding. And so, and, and my trainer says, okay, you start loading, I'll go grab coffee. And it's six frames. Like each frame is about probably, I don't know, 50 pounds and they're five by five. And then there's uh, six 10 foot long decks, each of which is only also about 50 pounds. And there was uh, six braces, kind of like a pipe that they use to secure the frame when the deck is on, you know, for scaffolding. And then four wheels or casters. And so the guy disappears. So I start loading. Okay, I load three frames, we put them like this, you know, it's a pickup truck, so we put them like this, three on this side of the, you know, against the wall, three on this side, then secure them with a strap, and then I grab the uh, six, ten foot long uh, decks, put them in the middle, and then some braces, and then uh, try to secure them, uh, damage the uh, rear view camera somehow in the process, and but then I'm done and so that guy still he stayed away but he was watching me like I don't know probably making fun of me like hey look at this idiot he's doing all the work uh, but then he comes over he says did you hit the rear of the truck with the tailgate I said I have no idea like what do you mean like when I was when the truck was empty or, or loaded he says empty he says, I was, I, and he says, did you do it? I said, I'm not sure. I was just trying to be, you know, careful and just, you have to leave the take gate to lock everything, right? And he says, I saw you, you smacked it in the back of the uh, truck and now the rear view camera does not work. But we looked at it, it's not broken, you know? So it's maybe just, you know, maybe I hit it, but I mean, I didn't hit the actual camera, just it hit the bumper and maybe the, the wire was loose or something i mean nobody told me to be careful with that lift gate you know like whoever designed it but anyway so everything is good and so we went to drove like 45 kilometers you know 25 miles to the private house their typical customer a drywall company so they they rented this scaffolding. I'm guessing they're working on the weekends. And it's funny, like you're driving and usually you see all houses are ready and then there's one that people are still working on, you know, construct uh, construction guys. And it's usually our our destination. And so we saw that and the guy says, 
yeah drop it in the garage and so have, we have to carry probably like i don't know five meters 15 feet all this but this time this guy was helping me so it was way quicker but yeah these things are heavy but you know it's good workout and you don't do it like every hour of every day but they're saying that that's the scaffolding is their most popular item and so then we came back they switched us back to uh to a pickup truck i mean to uh, to the freight line a flat deck and i think oh today finally we delivered something re relatively big we delivered a uh, uh i think it was a john deere a john deere skid steer but the guy didn't let me operate uh, so he loaded himself but at least um he let me use the remote for the deck you know and a couple of times i drove the scissor lifts myself so now you know that's the also the second popular item is scissor lifts so so now i know how how to pick parts for scaffolding how to load it and now i can operate i well i operated like 20 years ago but now you know kind of like it was a refresher course he showed me how to you know start it and you know all of these electric small scissor lifts I, now i can load it i can turn it and he uh, he made me use the remote a few times my, so now i know how it works you know you don't have to use the levers at the bottom so you can just use the remote to move the deck and then tilt it right and then move back and he showed me how he chains so yeah it makes sense pretty easy and then the last thing i think what else did he show me oh the paperwork so i was doing all like uh half of the day on thursday and today i was doing all the paperwork like we go together right we i help him load let's say it's a delivery so he loads let's say a scissor lift i, I help him secure and then I, after that i'm in charge of paperwork so what i have to do is i have to punch in the um the address into google maps on the company phone so that it shows us how far the destination is and then i have to call the customer and the phone is the phone number is on the on the paperwork i have to call the customer or if they don't answer uh text them there's a pre-formatted message saying that this is you know this is this company coming to you with this piece of equipment and eta and so and so which i know from google maps right and then you just mark some stuff there on the paperwork like you know hours hours of the machine out and then time when you arrive at the uh, delivery po point and then time when you uh, leave like you showed me all this so now i can do paperwork by myself and so then after we returned from this last trip i went to see the boss it was already about three o'clock today friday and i said any news on the on the insurance and he says well and i'm like holy moly they're gonna fire me he says well you are approved you're okay so um he says i wanted to do an inspection he says we do it like maybe once a week you know a thorough inspection of the truck like there's a big sheet uh you know checklist you have to go through he says if you can just you know clean up the truck that you're gonna be driving this another flatbed freight liner same as what I was in as a passenger with my trainer or instructor I don't know and his truck is uh, 2023 but this other truck nobody wanted to drive it because it's like 2018 it has about 200,000 kilometers on it so good as you know inside it looks much older but anyway they, they told me to go you know take care of it do the inspection clean it up get it ready for work right and so i i borrowed the uh, air gauge from the mechanic guys and uh, check the pressure rear tire on one side was a bit low so i'm going to take care of it monday i think they have air hoses there i greased the rails under the bed i was able to start the truck you know lift the bed and then they told me usually they uh, uh, grease those rails but i didn't use uh, solid grease i just used like uh invisible film you know i think that one works as well then i cleaned up the cab there was so much garbage in there like the previous driver was really a pig you know like stuff everywhere 
clean it up, grab the floor mats, took them to the uh, wash. You know, we have a wash in there where they wash the machines and use high pressure washer, clean up the, the floor mats. And then there was some uh, spray that you use to clean your you know interior of your car or your truck. So I did that, clean up everything. So now, before it was very dusty, very dirty, lots of dirt like everywhere, you know. So now the truck is ready to work. So I started it, I moved forward and I played with the bed with the remote, put it down and went back. And yeah, I was checking documents. So found the inspection certificate, found the ownership or title, couldn't find the insurance. There should be an insurance slip. So I'm gonna take care of it uh, Monday. So basically all I need is the insurance slip and fill up the rear tires on the right, on the passenger side. And then it has a quarter of fuel. So I asked him, you know, how do I fuel? And they said, well, here's the company phone on the back. It has the, you know, this petrol pass fuel card that you're gonna use. And so that's what I'll do Monday, go fill up the truck because the petrol pass is not too far. And then, yeah, find insurance and fill up the tires. And basically they're saying that the most, uh, I'll be mostly driving basically alternating between this Freightliner flatbed truck, single axle on the back and the pickup truck. And the pickup trucks, man, they're really nice. The old diesel, uh, they have uh, two Fords, 350 and one Ram. Also all pretty much the same, like 6.7 or whatever. I think one of them has Cummins, you know, small diesel. Man, there's so much power. I didn't get to drive them yet, but they have like big bed in the back. That's how they use these pickup trucks mostly when there's like a medium or light load of scaffolding, right? So, so that's what I'll be driving. I'll be driving, if it's a small load, you know, small machine, or just you need to tow like, oh, today we also did, uh, we tow the generator on wheels. Because all these trucks, of course, they, uh, they have a hitch, right? And so that's all what I'll be doing. Driving the pickup truck or or the five-ton flatbed. So finally, everything is finalized. Uh, I got my own key to open the door before 7. Because, you know, the, all the doors are locked at, until 7 a.m., you know, for customers. But... All, every employee gets a key, so now I got my own key. And so that truck will be definitely mine. So I'm kind of like the driver for that Freightliner, Freightliner truck. And I, I tried it, it's like super easy. It's all, it's all automatic, like there's a big lever right to the right of the steering wheel. You know, you just have to go into park, drive, neutral, right? And there's a PTO, I found a PTO button because you have to, and you don't have to press the brake because it's automatic, right? You just flip that switch and then and you hear that slight sound of hydraulic fluid traveling. And that's when I got that remote, it's in the compartment right above my head. Get that remote, you push the button start, like a green button, so the remote becomes active and then you can move the bed, you know? It's like super cool. And uh, uh, what else? So yeah, automatic, brakes, uh, PTO, everything is easy and it comes with its uh, holder for the phone so I can put my phone or a company phone in there, you know, when I need directions. So pretty easy and has nice uh, air seats and the steering wheel is uh, all tilted and, you know, you can push it in, pull it out. So like the mirrors were a bit like shaky. I keep, uh, you know, adjusting them but the windshield is like huge, right? The visibility is excellent. Boy, oh, that one also has a kind of like extended cab, you know, there's like a, another row of seats in there that they use for some, you know, wind, windshield washer fluid, all kinds of stuff, kind of like a, a little storage, storage area. But so, yeah, so today I finally got approved by insurance and I got to see my uh, will be vehicle the Freightliner, uh, tilt and load five ton truck. And I cleaned it out and started, go, went forward like 10 feet, went back, everything works. And so, yeah, so that's a good end uh, to the week, right? So should be able to start driving Monday.
stay tuned well i thought that was the end of my uh, video and then i came home like it was very slow today so and i feel very tired because i got up at five o'clock today and i ran for 30 minutes and then of course i worked you know physically so did a couple of deliveries small deliveries with uh with uh, DoorDash, I think one was with Uber, and it's very slow, everything is very cheap. I said, screw it, I'll go back home. Went to check my mailbox, and I get this very thick envelope, and it says Ontario. Ontario Ministry of Transportation. So I've been waiting for this one for three weeks. For some reason, the driver abstract from Ontario came last week. But this one took much longer because this is my entire history of, of um, licenses. Oh wow, so it has address history. Yeah, and the last one is in Cambridge. And then it has uh, okay, address history. And then we have... Uh, driver information okay my license number okay and then finally yeah here it says 97 08 25 which is canadian so year is first so uh, august 25th 97 and i came to canada august 18th i still remember original dl license issued okay where's the class uh, original DL issued. Original. Uh, what the heck? They don't give you, they don't tell you what class. 97, okay, 99, 01, amendment DL issued. PC, what the heck? Like, the guys here, they must be able to see the class. G, G, Y, okay, G, Y, DL issued, rectification, what the heck is this, uh, 20, 2002, uh, July, renewal, DL issued, but again, no class, DL series, This is not good. And at the top it still says GY, which is class 5Y. And 06, hold on, I got my, I got my license in 05. 05, Amendment. Yeah, this was 2005, 16th of June. That's when I got my AZ license. So these idiots just write amendment D slash L driver license issued, rectification, and then just says uh, license number or serial number or something. Can you believe this? They don't want to show you the class. So what did I pay 12 bucks for? Why not showing me my class AZ license? What a bunch of morons, you know? And let's say 20, renewal. And the next one. Oh, okay. Thanks, God. So, final, final uh, page, and it says uh, April eleventh, twenty twenty-three. Change of class, corrective license, A to G, and then in French A to G, and that's what they want. So there's the date, April eleventh, twenty-three. And then, what is the certification end of, yeah, so basically the last record 
shows you A to G. So now with this, tomorrow, I'm going to go to the registry or M, what is it called, DMV. And I already have my medical, but I, I'll bring it along just in case. And, uh, and see if they can, they can, they can uh, rectify this and uh, give me back class one license. So I'll do an update tomorrow. And then tomorrow also, you know, it's, it's going to be super nice here in Calgary, you know, over the weekend, they promise plus 17, which is like, I don't know, almost like 65, 68 F. So I'm going to go out, do a couple of hours of deliveries because yeah, I'm not going to see my paycheck for another, for another two weeks. So, but something is happening, something is happening. And also, uh, I don't know if you can see, but I started losing weight, like really. So I changed my diet, uh, changed my habits. So I'm starting getting thinner and thinner. So uh, I think this morning I was 189 pounds. So I only have nine pounds to go to get my weight into normal. Because now technically I'm overweight, believe it or not. But that's what the people in white coats are saying. Captain Sergey, you're overweight. So anyway, I don't know if you can hear that noise in the distance. That's my... No, wait, I didn't... What? As soon as I show this... <laughs> the thumbs up pops up, I'm sorry. Yeah, that noise in the distance, that the timer on my uh, toaster oven, I'm cooking some uh, Lebanese uh, meatballs. Love those. Okay, thanks a lot. Two thumbs up. Can we get two thumbs up? Oh, look at this. Wow, unbelievable. The AI at its best. Okay, see you guys. So we'll do an update tomorrow. So have a good weekend. Thanks for watching.